The 250 main event from Anaheim 2 was one to remember for a long time. Not necessarily so for Austin Faulkner, who got boxed in at the start and then got boxed up by Dylan Ferrandez. Ferrandez making quick work of Faulkner, and it's crazy because Faulkner was so fast in his heat race. The Geico Honda teammates Christian Craig and the teenage sensation Jet Lawrence were one and two, and it was both ways. It was Jet's turn to have it up front. Yeah, well, that youngster was killing it, but check this out right here. I mean, this happened so quick and violent. I really don't think it was de as deliberate as it looked, uh, you know, because you got to think of Ferrandez's end. You know, he doesn't want anything to happen to him either, and it could have as well just went bad for him as it did for Christian Craig. So, yeah, man, that's you can look at it both ways, but it wasn't good for either, especially and Christian. This was not good for Austin Faulkner and his Pro Circuit Kawasaki. Yeah, just another mistake. I mean, we've seen this time and time again. It's like a broken record, and he's got to sort that out. He's lucky he's able to walk away. He was able to remount and continue. And then, up front, leading the 16-year-old Lawrence threw it away, but he had about an 11-second lead. He was able to get going again and still be in front. Well, this is where the wheels started to wobble a little bit on the wagon, and uh, he gathered it up. Now, let me tell you something. A normal guy, his bike would have hit that jump with no one on it, so a uh, great bike control. But this is the last lap of the bring you through here. Glenn Ferrandez, you could see him coming. He took it easy on him. Makes the pass. Jet's going to try to counterattack right here. He gets a good drive through the world, jumping through there. I think looking back, Jet probably should have ran him a little high right here and take the line away. And this is where it all ended for Jet Lawrence. I mean, that was like slow motion, Lee. It ended in a very harsh way. Ferrandis got the win, his first of 2020, and thrilled for that. It was not great news for Jet Lawrence. He was devastated and injured. We found out later on that he actually sustained a broken collarbone. But he'll be back. And so too will Dylan Ferrandis. Three different winners from the first three races this year in Monster Energy Supercross in the 250s.